Quick question before I start this video. If you guys have 100 shares of Tesla stock, would you sell it by the end of this year? Or would you rather hold it for the next five to 10 years and see how much money you would have made from Tesla stock? Comment down below, I would like to know. All right, now that I have your attention, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. In today's video, we're going to talk about Tesla stock and why I believe Tesla will reach $700 a share by January 2021. And of course, this is just my personal opinion. It's just my personal prediction. And you should not use this video as financial advice. Use this video just as an entertainment purpose only. By the way, for those of you who are new to my channel, I talk about EV stocks, high growth stocks, and investment strategies where you can get ahead financially sooner. And if you don't mind, smash that like button until it turns blue for the YouTube algorithm and we'll see how fast it can get to 1,000 likes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So currently, Tesla is at 584.50 at the time of this recording. And if you take a look over the last one week, over the last one week, Tesla went up about 16%. Over the last one month, Tesla went up about 42.57%. And over the last three months, Tesla went up 26.75%. And over the last one year, Tesla went up a whopping 782%. Insane growth. <laughs> and if you compare that to the S&P 500, S&P 500 over the last one year only went up about 16%. And speaking of S&P 500, Tesla will be added to S&P 500 on December 21st, 2020. I don't think most people realize how big of a deal this is. And think about how many millions and millions, if not billions of dollars, will be added to Tesla. And most people, they have a diversified portfolio and most people have ETFs, especially S&P 500 ETF, like VOO or SPY ETF, just to name a few. And whether they like it or not, those people with S&P 500 ETF or S&P 500 uh, index funds, they will own a piece of Tesla. And this is just the beginning because most of those people, they're most likely not going to sell those stocks because those ETFs are most likely in a retirement account. And most people, they won't retire for the next 10, 20 to even 30 years from now. So think about that for a second. And Tesla right now, their market cap is at $555 billion. So this is not a small deal, this is a huge deal. And Tesla itself, it's probably gonna be one of the bigger player, the bigger chunk of the S&P 500 when they are included in there. Next, let's talk about another factor that can really help Tesla push over that $700 a share mark by January 2021. As you know, Q4 2020 won't be reported until the beginning of January. So at the end of December, they will report their vehicle deliveries and soon after they will release their Q4 earnings for 2020. And speaking of Tesla earnings, let's take a look at the previous earnings for last year and the past couple quarters and see if we can predict Tesla's revenue and profit in Q4 2020. And let's take a look at Tesla's revenue last year. Tesla revenues grew almost 24.6 billion US dollars in the fiscal year of 2019, a $3 billion increase from the previous year. And if you take a look at Tesla's revenue this year, the first quarter of 2020, they made about $6 billion. Q2 2020, they made another $6 billion. And Q3 2020, they made about $8.77 billion US dollars. And if you combine all of those three quarters, so year to date, as of September 2020, Tesla already made $20.79 billion. And let's be conservative here. Let's just say from Q3 2020, uh, to Q4 2020, Tesla only grew about 14% and that will bring up their revenue to about $10 billion. And if you add that revenue from the three quarters in 2020, and that will be just a little bit over 30 billion in revenues. And if you compare that to $24.6 billion from last year, that is roughly a 20% increase. So that's another double digit increase from the year prior. And that is a very impressive growth for a big company like Tesla. 
Here's a fun fact for you. You know what car company generated the most revenue in 2019? Yup, it's Toyota. Toyota generated roughly $280 billion in revenue in 2019. Compared it to Tesla, Tesla is only a tenth of Toyota. But you take a look at Tesla valuation, they definitely surpassed Toyota already. Why? Because think about it, in the next five to 10 years, do you think Toyota will still be number one? Or do you think Tesla will be the one who will be selling the most cars? And you know what sets Tesla's apart from Toyota? It's their software, especially their autopilot and their self-driving software. And by the way, let's take a look at this article that I found on Friday, November 27. It says Tesla could widen the release of self-driving software in two weeks and it's confirmed by Elon Musk himself. He said on Friday, it will probably be a wider role of new full self-driving software update in two weeks. Musk said that earlier, it was planned that the latest update could be widened release by the end of this year, with the system becoming more robust as it collects more data. And speaking of data, think about how much data Tesla is collecting monthly from all of the Tesla vehicles that are on the road at the moment and in the future. So right now, Tesla is smoking their competition. No wonder they're the number one EV in the world right now. And I believe in this news, Tesla could really speed up their uh, autopilot to level four or even level five even sooner. This is great for Tesla now that they just started to design their AI chip in-house and this allowed them to have vertical integration and think about it why did apple ditch intel to start their own in-house chip there must be a good reason right because now they don't have to wait for a third party manufacturer to release a new hardware now tesla have their own chip designer to work closely within tesla man think about the speed they can accelerate with this new software testing and their new chip design plus on top of that, now that they have a uh, Giga factory in Berlin, Giga factory in uh, Austin, Texas, and you look at the analyst price target, most analysts are even more bullish. Some of them, I can see the price reaching up to $774 by year end. And by the way, this is just my opinion. Again, I'm bullish with Tesla because I do own some Tesla shares myself and uh, I have some uh, Tesla option that is expiring uh, December 24th. I picked it up November 23rd and it's a call debit spread. My cost for that option was about $438 and my call option was uh, at $590 to $600. So as long as Tesla uh, reaches $600 or above, on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th, that's my expiration date for my option, that 438 will turn to $2,000 because the spread is $10 and I have two contracts, right? So that's $20, but with option, that's 100 shares. So 20 times 100, that's 2,000. So finger crossed before Christmas, Hopefully I get my present early and I will make about 4.5 times of what I invested in. But just be mindful with option though, if Tesla is below 590, uh, I will lose all of my money. That's $430 that I will lose. But hey, if it is above $600 a share uh, by December 24th, I'll make about two grand, which is not bad. But hey, this is what I'm doing. I don't recommend you following me because uh, it is risky and uh, option is not recommended for most people unless you have high risk tolerance. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you enjoy this video and you find it helpful in any way, hopefully you drop me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.